Hi everybody, happy holidays. This is Grant and I'm joining you from Santa Slay at Ruby Falls for this week's edition of Friday Chatter. You can join me every week to find out happenings around Ruby Falls and of course downtown Chattanooga. So let's get started. If you plan on joining us this holiday season for a cave walk, uh, we just want to let you know that because of our reduced capacity side for COVID related reasons, uh, we do have smaller tour group sizes. And so that means that our tour groups will sell out a lot quicker. So you'll definitely want to go to rubyfalls.com as soon as you know the date and time that you want to visit us. Go to rubyfalls.com and check on the availability for that tour time and go ahead and buy your tickets right then because during this holiday season, we will not be selling tickets on site at our guest service counter. So go to rubyfalls.com, get your tickets now. All right, time for things going on around Chattanooga. The Chattanooga Symphony and Opera are actually presenting Holiday Brass tonight through Sunday night uh, at the Commons in Collegedale, just outside of Chattanooga at 7 o'clock p.m. You can get tickets at chattanoogasymphony.org. Uh, they are going to be practicing social distancing and sanitizing practices if you choose to go in person, but they also have an option where you can sign up online to view the events uh, or stream the events. So that's pretty cool. Go to chattanoogasymphony.org and of course I'll post that link in the comments below. Another event that's going on uh, this weekend is the Nuga Nutcracker movie premiere at the Drive-In. At Saturday night, gates open at 5 o'clock p.m. at the Swingin' Midway Drive-In in Athens, Tennessee. Now there you can enjoy a dinner and movie from the comfort of your car. The uh, Chattanooga Dance Theater's Nuga Nutcracker is a twist on the traditional Nutcracker Ballet set in present-day Chattanooga with many of the scenes having been shot around Chattanooga. So that sounds pretty interesting. Check out ChattanoogaDanceTheater.com. Uh, and of course, I'll post that link in the comments below. The tickets will only be sold at the gate, it looks like. So now it's time for our restaurant picks of the week. Uh, this week, I'm going to talk about the Cafe on the Corner. We don't have too many restaurants actually here on Lookout Mountain, and we get asked that a lot by our, our guests that come through. Where's a good place to eat close by? And there aren't too many places, but there is one place at the top of the mountain that's sort of in between the three major attractions on Lookout Mountain called Cafe on the Corner. Now they describe themselves as Southern food redefined. Their menu prices range from $12 to $27 and they're open Tuesday through Saturday for lunch and dinner with brunch being served on Sunday. Check out Cafe on the Corner, lookoutmountain.com. Okay, and I also wanna mention that even though our cafe here at Ruby Falls has been closed down for uh, COVID precautions, uh, if you need a snack and you just need something to hold you over, the kids are hungry, it's not lunchtime yet, we do still have a limited supply of uh, pre-made sandwiches in our village gift shop. We also have uh, hummus and cracker combos, uh, ice cream, uh, nachos and cheese, uh, nuts from the nut cart. So there's a small supply that they do keep in stock at the village gift shop. So again, if you just need something to hold you over, we do still have some food options available daily from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. All right, guys, that is it for me for today. Uh, we're not gonna have a Friday chatter this coming Friday because it'll be Christmas, but I will see you first Friday of 2021. So I'll see you guys then. And remember, sometimes the unknown is the greatest adventure.